Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blam. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Follow my guy Showtime SP. He is on vacation for the week. I hope he is enjoying his vacation. But uh Work still got to be work, you know what I'm saying? Every time you put them in line, we got to do some realignments. Okay, now let's time to talk about the climate. So we already did the final predictions for Drake, Till Death Do Us part card. There's so much going on in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be all of the things that people are talking about, the angles that are on their way, everything, everything, everything. Calico. I came all the way to your house to offend you. I mean, if we was battling, you wouldn't want me to talk about the money I lent you. But that shit we can't speak about is exactly what we gonna get into because taking the easy way out of a real situation is not what men do. Sue Surf are now going back and forth with each other. I see they're supposed to be Fonz versus Lou Castro going down at Chris Brown's house. I seen drugs video, nasty work. Uh, and that should be an entertaining battle and also uh, Charlie Clips versus Chess is supposed to be happening there too. I mean, I'm very excited to see those battles. I'm s shout out to Luke Castro and shout out to Fonz. I'm definitely happy for Fonz because I've been saying it, I've been advocating it on this channel that I felt like he needed to get better looks, bigger looks, bigger situations. He won the tournament, but we hadn't really seen him much. I seen him battle JC, I seen him in the two on two, but I need like that push. Like it's, if Fonz is going to be one of them ones, I need to see it. Like, he had a couple battles pushed back, whatever the case may be. But if you're battling, this is probably going to be one of your biggest looks. You need to go crazy. Lou Castro does what Lou Castro does. So, with the Calico, uh, there was a poll that was put out. Freak wine. There was a poll that was put out on uh, a couple days ago. And URL had who you got as far as Sue Surf, Calico, whether it be 2130. And Calico surprisingly only got 31% of the votes. Like, that's pretty low. So, Sue Surf has a pretty good chance, allegedly, to win this battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, so Calico, he sees it and says, I be confused as to why my sh always looks like this. I mean, it don't bother me because y'all never have high expectations for me and make my job easier. But it's still kind of puzzling seeing that I be effing N words up like all the time. I'm just confused saying, you know what I'm saying? What, that he sees the number and he sees where he's picked at and it confuses him as to why he would have such a low percentage of the votes. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to Calico, uh, like that that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I never thought that. And the thing is, Calico, is active, you know what I'm saying? He be active, he talks on social media, he makes music, he did the diss track, Joe Button Couch, Sada Baby. Like, he stay active, so for Sue Surf to have a 69% chance, pause, to win against him, that kind of like makes people look at it like, damn, how? Now, Surf did have a good performance in his last battle versus John John and Don, you know what I'm saying? You can't take it away from him, you can say what you want, woo de woo oh, you wanna cheer him because he comes with only three, see, suit, my man, he's not here today, you know what I'm saying? Showtime SP is not, oh, I'm not gonna be surprised because he did what he was supposed to do, okay, I get it, cool. So, Sir sees a lot of the stuff that's going on, and he's been tweeting, he's been replying, and they've been going back and forth, and while I don't have these in order, I do have a lot of the stuff that was said. Sue Surf says, all up and coming battlers, if you could pick three battles to increase your status, is Calico in that three? So now Sue Surf is trying to say that from a historical perspective and from building your profile, is Calico an MC that you would go after? Now, I must say this, when the new guys, um, as far as all the new guys coming up, they usually, there's usually certain MCs that they're trying to get, you know what I'm saying? You see them mad MCs be trying to get that John John battle. You'll see people trying to get DNA. You'll see people trying to get Tay Rock. 
you'll see people like the, the, these. I'm talking about category, like building battles. You know, what I mean? that that help build motherfuckers up. Service basically saying nobody nobody tries to get Cal. Now, now is there a reason why people don't call Cal out? Because I would say it ain't because he's not nice. It ain't because of that. You know what I mean? Like you see Easy now trying to get goods and things like that. But I, so so Cal responds. This is a stupid question, Rajan. If an up and comer beat me, he's on pace to be the greatest of all time. He said, but they're really never looking for you, Rajan. Then uh, Cal says, because they know better. It do nothing for their career to come and lose to me. That don't make sense. You see me, I had to make holler battle me. You see how scared you is right now? I'm going to be the only nigga that beat holler and serve twice. I'm the GOAT, rather you believe it or not. This is very interesting because to a lot, Calico got the battle that happened between him and Hitman. You know what I'm saying? With the showroom floor, when we got the band. I like Calico second and third round. He was very fire in that battle. Some Red Breed Entertainment. Salute to ARP Red Breed Entertainment. You can watch it if you haven't watched, etc., etc. Don't like it that far. Hey, um, Calico did beat Sue Surf on U Dub. Back in the Mecca, back in the act. I'm from the D. We right about around. On our lap, beat him. Um, and now he's about to try to spin the block and do it again. Uh, Sue Surf. And they're going back and forth. Like, this is not like just a one shot thing. So Sue Surf says, respectfully, he's from my class. He don't really move the needle as elite. My whole class has at least one performance of the night and one battle of the night. Like, he's just mid range, top tier nonetheless. Now, I gotta think when it comes to Calico, you know what I'm saying? Calico did have Battle of the Night to me a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Calico did have Battle of the Night in different circumstances. I felt like his uh, Battle versus Tay Rock, Bat Bat, they flying through the cave on Summer Madness 5 was very fire. Um, I felt like Calico versus Loaded Lux, quite obviously, that's one of the biggest battles of all time. Uh, I felt like Calico versus Math Hoffa. Calico versus Matt Hoffa. To me, he had one of the performances of the night versus Matt Hoffa. Matt Hoffa, like, see, the thing is, I know, and listen, if you got some time, just sit with me. I want to get all this. We're going to get all this out, and we're going to keep it moving. It was at one time where Matt Hoffa was, like, the biggest new up-and-coming guy. Like, he was smoking everything. He was, his name was buzzing. It was, like, 2011. Name was buzzing, he had shit shaking. Calico came through, and Calico went crazy. Like, do you not remember? I'm not, oh uh, man, Calico went crazy. Um, I feel like he had the performance of the night in that circumstance. I feel like he had the performance, one of the better performances in the volume joint, or was it known, whatever it was, when he battled against Averb. And I got good sense. See, the thing is, I could do this from like an unbiased perspective where I could talk about the things that you've done good and I could talk about the things that Calico has done good. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have, I ain't going to be the one that's going to say Cal ain't had no performance of the night. Like come on now, that, that come on, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Like Calico, he might not be the most flashiest, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing. Like a lot of people be thinking that flash and pizzazz equal being fire, you know what I'm saying? Like he's not on TV, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't he ain't doing that. Like he ain't doing what Hitman Holler's doing. I just seen Hitman Holler on um on the games people play last night. You know what I'm saying? He's on BT and stuff like that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like you see conceited, he's doing his thing. He's on Wildin' Out and Whoop De Woo. But to sit there and say that Calico don't have no no fire. Like, what? Like, we're not doing that. Like, we, we can't do that. Like, we, we really can't. Like, how could we do that? Um, then they continue to go on. You know what I'm saying? They continue to send shots at each other. Uh, Calico then says, I'm going to leave Surf stinking at a red light this weekend, and Cali boy going to be dead in the street for hours before they remove his body. 
basically say he's gonna do him like Lonzo, you know what I'm saying? Like train, he's gonna train in day. He's gonna train in day. Hey, 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 Officer Hoy, hey, look here. It's your first day on the job. You need to understand that thing. <laughs> this is my fucking job. This is the way I run things. You know? You don't you don't come in this in this department and think that things are gonna go your way. Alright? <laughs> he said he's gonna do him like training day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna leave him stinking at the light, they won't find a body for hours. So uh, Surf then goes on to say that's the part that sucks to me about your career. Nobody respects you. You got to tell us what you did, what you do for the culture. We only hear about it when you talk about it. Saying that we don't, people don't be recognizing and realizing Calico's achievements until he has to be the one to specifically say, I did this versus I did that, where he's using it, that's that star power shit. They be trying to use that, oh, I'm such a shining star that you just know who I are. Um, he said, it's because I don't suck. I don't suck D. That's what he was trying to say. I beat y'all boys, then go back to my regular life. I don't even call Smack Phone, ask him. And then, you know, they was trying to say Cal's biggest battle is from Loaded Lux. Surf says, he got popular by losing to Loaded Lux. I say these things because I know there are a lot of newer fans in Battle Rap who don't know that, who have not watched this, who don't, who wasn't around. Like, you gotta think, right? If someone is 18 or 19 now, 10 years ago, they were 10 years old, they were 11 years old. Some people really was not around. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that as it grips to your speaker. You just gotta learn your lesson. I'm your history teacher. I'll take you back, you know what I'm saying? They do have some common opponents. Loaded Lux battled against Calico. Loaded Lux battled against Sue Surf. Both lost, both lost. Surf was worse. That shit happened like last year. It was nasty work. He was like, yeah, nigga lost to the Echoes and shit. But uh, both battled that. Both battled Shotgun Shook. One battle math, the other one would never battle math. Both battle Hitman Hollow. You know what I'm saying? Like these, they, a lot of them, they have a lot of similar battles that they have had in the past. But to be honest with you, all of this talking is good. It helps promote the battle. It gives people something to talk about. It helps the narrative per se. But I'm gonna say this: I hope motherfuckers is ready. More so surf than Cal, because I don't recall Cal. Cal don't have three rounds. Whether he's directed them three rounds at surf or whether he just rambles off to BMF tracking, traffic and traffic and traffic, traffic and action, that that may yet to be determined. But I do think a lot of the preconceived notion that people just feel like Cal is gonna lose. They do that shit with Cal a lot though. Yeah, you see it happen often, and he always shows up. He's probably one of the last people that clearly beat Ill Will. I had Calico winning that battle. I had Calico winning versus Big K. I had Calico winning against Aver. I had Calico win. Golly, this. Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 that's fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not doing this, man. I'm looking at some of his, uh, some of his last joints, man. <sighs> I had Calico winning against Hitman. Uh, I didn't like the two on two, the two on two Murderland Dark Life. Not the one where they got the fight. The second one with T Top, they didn't win that one. I didn't like that one though. With him and Twerk, and they started rapping about you think you the mob, nigga, we the mob. We always on our job. Like uh, uh, don't, 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 don't. That that was horrible. That cow. I should give you like an extra two, three losses. <laughs> you my nigga, but I hated that. Uh, I had to beat Neil Will. Uh, he lost to Twerk though. I had Twerk winning that with the, when he was rapping. I'm from the Nutty Block, like where Geechee at. He recycled some shit. I ain't like that. Um, I had him beating Briz Rothstein back on Summer Madness 7. No, 6. Summer Madness 6. I'm bad. My bad. I had him winning that. Uh, him versus Rock Fire Battle. Him versus. I, he's one of the. I had him beating Pat Stay too. The one with the hat and all of that. Y'all niggas be really, really, really trying to disrespect Calico. When y'all be liking to take these clips and make tweets and shit. To try to like show the artist, like, yo, this person was talking about, me. take this clip right here. Y'all niggas really be disrespecting Calico on a high level. And I don't like that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna call it, y'all niggas need to call it like it is. I hope Surf got three rounds and is prepared for what he's about to see.
Cause Calico ain't about to play with these niggas. Like he don't play. Like that's one thing he niggas like Cal, niggas like Geechee, niggas like Rum, niggas like that. They know how to make a battle debatable. Even if you do get the win, it be very, very debatable often. Like that's the one thing about it. Like battle rap, it really don't even matter. This shit don't even be about wins and losses. It's just long as you don't die. As long as you don't die, niggas gonna see you on the next card. See you on the next card. See you on the next card. That's why a lot of niggas be hating niggas like Sirius Jones. Ooh, I'm speaking fast, but so what? Let's get the cash. A lot of niggas be hating niggas like Sirius Jones, but the thing is, he don't be dying though. Like he don't die. He don't be losing. So you wanna see him on the next card? Like you, that's why they keep bringing him back again, again, and again, cause the nigga don't be dying. Like he almost killed himself with that diamond test and shit. But overall, he had a fire battle versus Swamp. So now he gets brought back versus JC. A lot of people is blaming JC for the situation. Like, oh man, JC, you keep taking these niggas on Taco Bell Battle League and all this other shit. Niggas be having bills to pay though. They ain't even like, you gotta think when it comes to battle rappers. If a nigga not booked for a big car making big money, this is not surfing cow shit. They get paid very well. But all the niggas who's not getting that kind of money, they got a battle. What is a nigga gonna do? Nigga can't, niggas don't be working at Amazon. Niggas don't work at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't be working at uh, fucking, uh, like goddamn the distribution set. Nigga, once you get on and you popular and you known, known, known like that, there's a lot of them type of jobs you just cannot work at. Like it just doesn't work like that because you're gonna see people every five minutes. Like nigga, like you're not gonna see a nigga like Geechee or a nigga like Cal or a nigga like JC working in damn Domino's or Pizza Hut or fucking, you, you just want not gonna see it, you know what I mean? Like even with the media and the blog and shit, I, there's certain jobs I can't work at. I can't go work at Home Depot, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just not gonna work. So you gotta run that bag up because there's certain shit you just can't do. Like, and it ain't like on, a, on no scary shit. It's just who wants to work? You think I wanna work at Lowe's and see niggas every 20 minutes? Yo, oh shit, y'all wanna know what happened? I wanna see, nah, my nigga. But anyway, Long story short, so we ain't gotta take it to court. Uh, Sue Surf, I see the shit you talking. I definitely do. But you better be ready because trust me, the same way niggas is putting you up there right now, giving you all the love and admiration for the John John shit, if it don't go that way in this one, niggas got a big gun. The shit's done. One. <laughs>